another uh, accomplishing weekend for our guy Joey Burrow as he was uh, in Baton Rouge this weekend. This time he was walking across the stage and scooping up his master's degree <laughs> for his time of course. Uh, here in BR. So uh, we always link up with Coach Burrow on Tuesdays. We'll be off tomorrow with the Christmas Eve holiday. We'll be off Wednesday with the Christmas holiday. Back with you Thursday morning. Then T-Bob and I taking off and going to Atlanta for our show to originate from the Hyatt Regency Hotel on Friday morning with all of our shows set to be there through the weekend and getting coverage for uh, for the national semifinal. Uh, Coach Burrow is now with us uh, here on Monday. That uh, will be off tomorrow, so he was kind enough to bump up a day. Coach, good morning. How are you? Merry Christmas. Same to you guys. What do you get a guy in Joe that has everything? Well, I don't know. We got him his phone, so he's all set, <laughs> I think, for Christmas. Um, cool, cool. Another cool weekend for the Burrows, right? A- another accomplishing yeah. moment. How does it feel for, uh, <laughs> for you and your family? Yeah, we, How cool was Saturday? <laughs> yeah, we we try to get him to walk uh, at, at Ohio State, but you know what, those those things are about four hours the process, maybe longer when we're at the big universities. But they got him in and out of there, and, and he was uh, happy to do it. And you know, it's a it's a big day for for our family. Uh, certainly. Football has been great, but we're proud of his uh, uh, being able to graduate uh, with undergraduate and, and a master's in really four and a half years. So uh, we're proud of him. Yeah, and you should be because uh, not only does he get his master's, wins the Heisman by an unprecedented margin. Within that Heisman speech, he manages to touch hearts. He also manages to help raise half a million dollars for good causes back home. It's it's been a wild couple weeks, uh, and he has been on the award trail. You're a longtime football coach. Have you had any talks with Joe about locking back in this week? Have you given him any advice? Like, what's that process been like of this this this, this whirlwind over the past two weeks? Well, it, it certainly your your focus has to be uh, still on football, but it's hard uh, when, when you're when you're going across country and, and, and getting all those awards. But uh, J- Joe still knows, you know, what's at stake. And, and uh, he, he still knows that the focus has to be on football. And I think when he was so ready to, to get back last uh, uh, last uh, Monday to, to get back to practice, I think they, they just kicked it right in. Uh, but, you know, there's – I know he limited it uh, – Got him to limit his media obligations uh, this week, and nice. uh, he, he's back on track. And I'm, I'm sure they they've had a good week of practice and and uh, ready to go today. Have you watched Oklahoma play this year at all? No, I haven't. Uh, you know, the it stirs my uh, uh, Nebraska Oklahoma rivalry from many years ago. Oh you know, wow! You forget yeah. you forget how you don't like the Sooners, but. Uh, <laughs> uh, it didn't take me long to, to remember those those uh, good good old days in Nebraska, Oklahoma. But uh, you know, I was just around uh, Jalen Hurt uh, at, at some of those awards, and and what a great player and a great young man. Got to know his family a little, and uh, you know, he's a he's a difference maker. And and so anytime you got got that uh, that guy, you know, you're you're going to be tough. And and uh, I've, I've talked to some people that have played Oklahoma, just the speed of that defense, uh, uh, which, you know, everybody knows Oklahoma has speed on offense, but they got great speed on defense. So uh, it'll be a challenge. Uh, I would imagine that T-Bob wanted to ask this question, but I'll get to it first. Um, the the offensive line for, yeah. for Joe picking up the award last week in the picture that came out with, with, with Burrow kind of, looking like he was standing over the football and barking out blocking signals with the offensive line striking the Heisman pose behind him. And that, that's, a, that's an image that'll live on forever. That was a great one. Um, the relationship between, his, between him and his offensive line, I, I know that him leading off the Heisman speech, thanking the O-line, w- w- was just magical for that group. But, but you know Joe as good as anybody. Um, w- what's that relationship like between he and that group? Well, it's... A great relationship. He loves those guys. Uh, we would go to the end of the earth for them. Same, same. Uh, I think that's uh, the way they feel about Joe, and and he understands. I, again, I know this is from coming from a uh, football family over the years. He understands the importance of an offensive line, and uh, I've said many times in, in several of my interviews uh, that 
really the, the most important part of, of this whole uh, transition to what they've done this year has been the play of the offensive line. I mean, the improvement uh, that they've done keeping keeping the uh, the rush to, off of Joe and giving him time. I mean, it's it's really amazing. And I I know Joe was was very happy that they got that award because he knows they deserve it. Talking to Jimmy Burrow, longtime football coach, father, <clears throat> excuse me, of Joe Burrow here on Off the Bench. And uh, where, where where's your head at going into these playoffs this weekend? Uh, it seems like you've watched so many big games. You've talked about the feelings of being a father versus a coach in these games. You're really just having to sit there and watch it all develop. Um, th- does this stage feel differently than like an SEC championship? Well, I think it's uh, I think it is because uh, it's it's one and done now. I mean, you only got the yeah. the one game before you get the championship, and and you're so close. Uh, you can uh, I'm sure they can feel it. Yet they know that you know coach speak for me, but one game at a time. Uh, they just got to make sure, in my my opinion, that uh, as, as the players themselves, you you don't overthink it. You know, you you do what what you've done all year and that's just ex- execute the offense and and uh, uh i'm sure they'll have a have a great game plan and you, you just got once you get there i believe and and uh, the initial uh, excitement uh, as soon as they walk out there on their first play they, they should be re- ready to, to do what they've done all year yeah and that's been the most impressive part about <clears throat> joe this year has been that um I, I, I describe it as a, a stoicism, right? He, he just seems very stoic. Like, even in that senior day with the the EAUX on his jersey and the family out there, as he's hugging you all, he has this deadpan expression on his face, and he holds that throughout. And then you look at what he goes in and does, and, and it makes sense, right? He thrives in those moments. Has Is that a skill that he has developed? Has he kind of had that naturally with him all his life? Like, where does that come from? I think just the the competitor in him uh, makes him so so focused, and and then you know he he chose LSU to to play in play in this game uh, on Saturday, and uh, to have a chance to to play in a national championship game. So it, it's just been a process for him, and as as they uh, got farther and farther in the season, I think that that focus is has increased, the intensity has increased, and yeah, there's. There's a lot of things going on uh, in, in Joe Burrow's world, but for him, it, it all comes down to, again, the, the end of the process uh, that started many years ago is, is upon him, and, and uh, uh, he, he's uh, excited about it, I'm sure. But uh, as I said, this has been his goal for a long, long time to, to play in this game and then hopefully one more. The most popular college football player of the year will be in a uh, Atlanta hotel room for Christmas Day. Will he be surrounded by friends and family? What's the plans this week? Well, we're going to try to get down there uh, Christmas Day. We're hoping uh, they uh, uh, they have some time, uh, you know, uh, that that night. Uh, we we asked him did, did he want us to come on New uh, Christmas Eve, and uh, he said no. <laughs> that that he's. You know, he he wants limited distractions, yeah. uh, even from from his mom and dad. But you know, we we understand that, and uh, we've spent Christmas uh, days and Christmas Eve before at at bowl games, and uh, uh, so you know we're we're used to it. Part of the part of college football, and and uh, you know we'll 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 be there though uh, as soon as we can on on Christmas. I'm sure. I'm sure the locals have told you countless times since it happened and was confirmed over the weekend. I wonder if Joe knows, but Cincinnati is officially on the clock. They have got the number one pick in the NFL draft. <laughs> well, you know, uh, we're back to one game at a time, yes, right? That's so right, we'll, Coach. Uh, let's see what happens. People in this uh, uh, area are are excited about about that possibility, but you know, they're they're excited about a lot of things uh, this week. The the uh, food pantry donations. Uh, you know, there's just a lot of, a lot of excitement uh, has been created by Joe and, and LSU uh, in, in our area. Peter King did a great article uh, this morning uh, about uh, just basically the, the donations and and uh, the the effect that 31 seconds of Joe's speech has had 
had on uh, Athens County, Southeast wow. Ohio. So wow. it's a, uh, uh, you know, it's a great time uh, in, in this area, and, and we're all very thankful that that uh, people have stepped up with really donations from all over the country, especially Louisiana. Uh, Coach Burrow, in a time that uh, is highlighted about talking about thanks, we are very grateful for your time every week here on Off the Bench expressing um, just the, the, the memories and this year documenting it with us. It has been, uh, it's been a fantastic ride for us over here on Off the Bench, and uh, we just want to make sure and tell you thank you to you, your family, and uh, Merry Christmas. We'll see you in Atlanta. All right. Merry Christmas to you guys. Uh, thanks for having me on. It's been great. Go Tigers. Absolutely. We'll talk to you next Tuesday now. This isn't done. Just wanted to make okay. sure we're, we're thankful <laughs> yeah, for the, uh, yeah, the yeah. segment. I'm, uh, I'm on. I'm, I'm there. I'm ready to go. Yes, sir. We'll see you in Atlanta later this okay. week. Thank you. Yes, sir. There he is. Coach Jimmy Burrow.